everybody how is everybody doing i am back with another part of the sims 3 anderson legacy i believe this is part five but i am not good at keeping track so let's get started All right, so we're gonna try to play this little game to see how many points we can get. Oh, where is that at? E click anything. Ah, this. This one. The barista. The sponge. Hmm. I love playing these to get points, lifetime happiness points. Hmm. Ooh, Iceland Paradise. I love Iceland Paradise. Island living in The Sims 4 didn't even reach half of what Island Paradise is. What a shame. Okay, I'm going to let it finish loading, and I will be right back. Alright, so in the last part, we stayed at... Oh, jeez. The Von Gold Merchant House and Cafe, because Olivia was doing a opportunity called the black market gnomes and she finished it so she has to go to work to get her points for this opportunity that she finished so it looks like she's very stressed out she's in high need of fun so we're gonna go ahead and go home And buy a TV or something because as y'all remember last time the repo man came and took my television because I am a procrastinator in video games and in real life I forgot to pay my bills also I am gonna attempt to modify her work outfit because that work outfit is just not it for me. I hate it. I hate the hair. I hate the fit and I just I hate it. So I don't know how I would go about that. I gotta try at least. Alright. I have master controllers, so we're gonna attempt. Oh, what did I do? Shoot. Let's see what happens.
don't want to live in the town she's living in forever. But... It's just always raining in this town. It reminds me of... What's it called? It reminds me of the Twilight... I think I said it in the last episode. Of the Twilight Town... I think it was called Fork or Forks. I'm not sure. Let me Google it. Yeah, it's called Forks. And I just do not like it. Like, I feel like in Moonlight Show or Moonlight Falls, it's always raining and it's always gloomy. So, we're probably gonna move. I kind of want to move to Island Paradise. I like how bright and beautiful that town is. All right, so Olivia is home. She does have some spare money. So we are going to buy her a television to entertain herself because I mean televisions are pretty entertaining. Okay, so we really don't have money for much. Oh, jeez. Wow, okay. So we're just going to get her a... Just a little... Cheap television. At least for now. So she can have something to watch television then. Okay, so her move is blah, her partner is blah, and her logic is okay, so let's see who her partner is. Oh, oh, I live in. Her partner is, oh wow, Chester Swain. Here's a jerk that came and took my stuff. Kind of good looking jerk though. I wonder if we invite him over what would happen. Let's try it out. Alright, so I'm gonna have Olivia call this guy, Vlad Impala. To see if he answers, which I doubt it because if I recall, the NPCs aren't really characters that you can interact with. But I'm not sure, so. <laughs> Let's give it a shot. Ooh, he agreed. Mm, Alright, let's see what happens. She said, would you like to come inside for a cup of tea? He better not be a thief. <laughs> okay, let's be funny with him. Let's tell him a funny story. Let's be friendly. Let's get to know him. Evening. Weep. Need. 
let's announce our promotion. Now let's just chat with him, see what happens. <laughs> Olivia is really not looking for love right now, but she is looking for somebody to spend her days with, you know, like, hang out, go out. I guess she does have her little friend that she met last time, Branch, whom she was stealing out of his garden, who was kind enough to invite us in his house and the zombies wouldn't attack us. But she kind of wants something other than a best friend. So, let's see where this goes. He seems friendly. And tired. So, he might not be here for very long. She's like, I just got promoted from my job. He's like, Crane, I'm so glad I'm sleepy. Oh, the friendship bar goes up so slow in this game. Vlad thinks Olivia is okay. She also kind of like was into this guy, Dante. I thought it'd be interesting to get with a vampire. You know, maybe have vampire kids with him. But he was rude. <laughs> Out of nowhere, too. <laughs> I know you're a repo man. You came to repo my crap. Alright, Vlad. He's like, I don't gossip, so <laughs> he did not like that. <laughs> All right, Vlad. All right, Vlad, you're sleepy, I'm sleepy. Let's cut this hanging out day actually extremely short. All right, so we're going to cut this day or night, actually. Very short because Olivia is sleepy and I can tell that that guy is dying of tiredness too, so maybe we can invite him some other day. But if from what I recall, NPCs like Repo Man's Melman and just 
like that, you, you really can't build a relationship with them. They they reject any and every attempt of relationship with you. If I recall, I don't remember very well. Whoa, what was that? Why did that happen? All right, catch you later, my man. Wait, turn it. Oh, I can. Okay. See you later, my man. Why did I get that? I don't know. Okay, so we're gonna let her rest, and I will be right back when she is fully rested and awake. Okay, so Olivia is out of work and she invited her boss out to hang out a little while. They lost connection and they're no longer friends. She took the fall for a couple of things her co-worker did. She didn't want her co-worker to... get fired because he was already in hot water with their boss so Olivia took the blame for his most recent blunders and got chewed out by the, her boss Janet the other co-worker realized what happened and they are very appreciative of Olivia's actions so my partner thanked Olivia a thousand times because if it would not have been for her he would have gotten fired so, Olivia's trying to come out and just mend the relationship with Janet. So, they're going to come in here and they're going to sit and just hang out for a little while and chat. But she is going to chat with her for a little while. I'm gonna brighten her day because I clearly made her day crappy with what happened. Mm. I'm gonna form a group with her. So she's like, what happened today at work was unacceptable, Olivia. I understand. I was sucky and they're just chatting it out because Olivia feels really bad she gets along with with Janet very well and that just kind of like put a strain on the relationship she hates children so we already know that she has no children all right what is wrong with Olivia? Oh, her fun is very low. Okay, let's go inside and let's go sit. Let's sit together. Can I not do that? Let's have a green salad. Her mood is terrible. Oh, what? She hates me! Oh, look, it's this guy again. Ugh. Can somebody tell me what that noise is and what's happening? Because I am legitimately confused. <sighs> Whatever. We tried to be friendly and do things right with 
our boss Janet, but it seems like she just doesn't really like us. Like, I don't know. So we're gonna instead we're gonna invite him over. We're gonna invite Branch. See if he wants to tag along. And our boss. What is that noise? Who is this? Olivia Goth? Who is Olivia Goth? Samuel Goth? Let's invite him though. Why are you thumbs down here? <laughs> Thank you, you're a lightsaber. Vlad, you're the real MVP. Who's this? Bernice Crumplebottom. Crumplebottom. I know Crumple. Where have I heard that? The Sims 2. I think it's her. The old lady that was yelling at me at the park. Hmm. This is what I love about The Sims. They just like find a way to mesh things together and create a story within itself. Like, not only the stories that you can create. But the stories that they create for you to piece together. I'm gonna have a look into that. Who's this? Anna Love Ivy? Alright, so did she eat already? Yeah, she ate. She's feeling stinky, so we're gonna go. Oh, I see what's happening. Wash your hands, brush your teeth, wash your hands again. And then we're gonna come over here and play foosball. No, he doesn't like gossip. No gossiping. Oh, no, no kissing. No. Okay, how about we don't do that? Let's just be friendly to him. Let's brighten his day. Let's get to know him. Where is he going? Is he not coming inside? Is he literally gonna go dumpster diving? My date cannot have gone anywhere. First with my boss and now this dude dumpster diving. Like, what is wrong with him? <laughs> He's gonna be stinky! <laughs> Go talk to Vlad, please. I am... 
at a loss for words. Can you ask him what is he doing in the trash? Because I am just so confused. Where's the music coming from? Let's try it. Let's try a heat of the moment kiss. See what happens. Oh! oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, never mind. I'm coming up very creepy. Let's go dance it out. That was a total fail. I feel so. Sh Bye, Vlad. I'm sorry. All right, let's just dance. Let's vibe. All right, so after a failed date with my boss and a failed date with the guy that I'm trying to actively get to like me, I'm gonna leave it here at the wolf playing the guitar, the fairy being angry, and Olivia just having the best time of her life around all of these supernatural characters. I love it. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see y'all in the next part of The Sims 3 Anderson Legacy. Peace. Thank you.